in their relief features. Okay, so already we have discussed. Okay, now we have to discuss India reliefs. Okay, <coughs> geographically, India was divided into four ma six major reliefs. Relief means structure. Okay, so overall India has been divided geographically. India has been divided into six relief features. They are one Himalayas. The Himalayas. We call it as the Himalayas. Okay. One, the Himalayas. Two, Indo Gantic Plain. Indo Gantic Plain. Three, <coughs> Peninsular Plateau. Peninsular Plateau. Four, Coastal Plains. Five, Deserts. Six, Islands. Okay? Overall, India major reliefs. One of the most important questions. What are the major reliefs of India? Okay? How, how geographically India was divided into? Okay? So, Indian major reliefs are six. They are the Himalayas, indo gantic Plain, Peninsular Plateau, Coastal Plain, Deserts and Islands. If you complete each one in, in brief, Himalayas, indo gantic Plain, Peninsular Plateau, Coastal Plains, Deserts and Islands. Then our lesson unit one, India Relief Futures is completed. Okay. So, children, write down the question. Write down the question. <coughs> Into how many what are the major relief features of India? First question. What are the major relief features of India? What are the major relief features of India? Okay. The Indian answer. What are the major relief features of India? What are the major relief features of India? Answer. Indian landmass. Indian landmass. Indian landmass. <coughs> broadly divided into. Indian landmass broadly divided into six major reliefs. Six major reliefs. They are Indian landmass broadly divided into six major reliefs. Reliefs R E L I E F S. Okay, they are. They are. Okay, right like this line and write all six like this okay they are the himalayas they are the himalayas the indo gantic plain the himalayas the indo gantic plain the peninsular plateaus <coughs> the coastal plains the deserts, the islands, the deserts, the islands, okay, geographical India was divided into six major reliefs, okay, geographical India was divided into six major reliefs, right, that also you can answer, into six major reliefs, they are the Himalayas, okay, on the north, indo gantic Plains, Centre, Peninsular Plateau, Down, Postal Plains, Seashores, Desert and Islands. Okay, so I will show you all on the map, just see. I will show you all on the map, just see. 
After that, I will discuss individually about each one. If we can able to complete each topic, so today I will complete the Himalayas. Tomorrow I will complete the Indo-Gaitic plane and peninsula of life to one period. First place, Jezaks and Islands, one period. So overall lesson will be completed exactly in three to four periods. Okay. So first period today, we will complete Himalayas. The next year, tomorrow we will complete these two tasks. And the next period, three. And everything else along the way, one period. Overall, four periods, your lesson one will be completed. So if you have been familiar, so listen carefully. I will first of all, I will show these physiographical features or Indian map, okay? I am not a good uh, drawing master, okay? I can able to draw a little bit of Indian map, but I am not a good uh, <laughs> drawing master. Don't uh, think anything else. Just, you can see the image of India, that's all. Okay, however, the map here, no need to worry about this. Right, this is India, let example. Okay, example, okay? If it's a structure change, don't worry. Right, here, this, this is called Himalayas. Okay, this is called Himalayas. And this is all indo gantic Plains. indo gantic Plain. One, Himalaya. Two, indo gantic Plain. Why the name indo gantic Plain is came? Due to the river Indus and Ganga. <coughs> Indus and Ganga. I will tell you. Okay, this is all indo gantic plain. Punjab up to Punjab up to Uttar Pradesh. Sorry, Kolkata. Okay, indo gantic plain. And these are peninsular plateaus. Okay, South India is a peninsular plateau. And this is also one plateau. I will explain. So, this is third one, plateaus. Okay, after the plateaus, we have to discuss about the coastal plain. Coastal plain means this is Arabian Sea and this is Bay of Bengal and the, the landmass near the seashore is called a coastal plains. Okay, this is called coastal plains. Okay, so this is number four, coastal plains. You know that is it in Rajasthan? Okay, only one digit we are having in India. That is number five. How it has been formed, we have to discuss. And last we have islands, you know, these are Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and these are Lakshdeep Islands, okay, Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshdeep, this is number 6, so geographically India is divided into 6 major components, and overall India, let's say our human body, how our human body is divided, okay, what are the great features of our human body, head, Okay, middle part. Okay, legs. Like that, right? Similarly, overall India was geographically divided into six major lifts. One is Himalayas, two Indo Indo Gantic Plain, Indo Gantic Plain, Indus and Ganga. Third one is Plateaus. I'll explain each one individually clearly. Okay, then you can get an idea, but it is a, just a representation. And the fourth one is. <coughs> Coastal plain. Coastal plains means near the seashore. That area is called as coastal plains. And the fifth one is deserts. And sixth one is islands. Okay, just to draw a rough, rough, rough diagram in your notes. Rough diagram in the notes, no problem. However, you are you are not a good uh, drawer. No problem. Draw it in a rough diagram. And just note it on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you have an idea, that's all. Mapping skills. These are the mapping skills. You have to learn while the lesson is going on. Okay? Just draw, no problem. How the shape you got, least bother. Just draw with the pencil. If else, if you want to keep your notes exact superb, then you get a map, one rupee map, and paste it there in the left side of your page and mention all this. Okay? Just for the sake of now, just draw it. <coughs> Roughly, make it fast. I am giving two minutes time. Fast, fast, fast. How the Himalayas have been formed? That is the first question. Nearly 120,000 years ago, Mesogic time period, M Z E O S A S A I C. Okay, 
Misogyn time period, nearly 120,000 years ago, we don't know, okay? Our land masses, only two land masses, one is Angara land, listen carefully, and another one is Gondwana land, okay? Only the two masses whole world, right now, whatever the map you are seeing in the whole world, only two masses, Angara land, and Godwara line. These two masses. In between these two masses, there is a sea called THTTYS, Tethys Sea. What is the sea called? Tethys Sea. Okay. So, this is a sea. And uh, to the north of Tethys Sea, Angara line, direction north, south, east, west. To the north of Tethys Sea, we have Angara line. To the south of the sea, we have Bonavara land. Okay, due to the sea, and even you know that 79% water and 21% land mass. Okay, as you know. So, overall map has to do with water. So, due to this water, <coughs> okay, forces, water forces, and even the sea forces, these land masses have been moved apart, have been moved apart, like this. Okay, sometimes due to the external forces, the land masses come closer. Okay, understood what I said? So, due to the force of sea, these land masses move apart, and due to external forces, the land masses move towards the towards the sea. Okay, like that, due to the compression, compression force, okay, like that, due to this compression force, what happens? Kind of closure. So, one day what happened? At this point, these two land masses come closer and the sea has been bulged up. The sea has been bulged up and became the form of a Himalayas. Became the form of a Himalayas. Understood how the Himalayas have been formed? Now, the water of the India is now located is in Gondwana land. And <coughs> Himalayas, after the Himalayas, the land is called as Angara land. So, how the Himalayas have been found understood? This was happened nearly 120,000 years ago. Okay, this is not right now. Sir, is it right? The land masses moved, sea bulged up. Yeah, sea bulged up. So in sea, you will have different rocks and surfaces has been bulged up. And at that, before the earth formation, you already know all this. The earth was somewhat cooler and hotter. Due to this, the Himalayas have been found. So why snow? Why? Snow due to the height, due to their height. Okay, so as been bulged, as been bulged, they became folded mountains. They became a folded, folded into Murtalantar, folded mountains. That's why the Himalayas are called youngest folded mountains. What we call as Himalayas? Youngest mm -hmm. folded mountains. Very important bit. Youngest folded mountains are dash Himalayas. Then the question we have to arise, sir, what is the youngest? Then what is the oldest? So, youngest is there. Simultaneously, oldest should be there. What are the oldest folded mountains? Yes, oldest folded mountains are Aravali. Aravali in Rajasthan. Aravali in Rajasthan. You might have come across the word Mount Abu. Okay, Mount Abu is the highest peak in Aravali. If you not, I will explain later. So, oldest folded. Folded means Murtalu. Murtalu, folded. Okay, so <coughs> due to this compression force, the sea bulged up and the land, sand, um, rocks and all these particles have been folded and then become the, okay, Himalayas. Understood? So that's why Himalayas are called as Angus Folded Mountain. Mm -hmm. And what is the oldest folded mountain? Oldest folded mountains are Aravalis. Mm -hmm. In Aravalis, the highest peak is Mount Abu, keep it in mind. Okay, whenever I will be discussing the bits, I will discuss this. Right. So, we have got how Himalayas have been formed. Okay, how Himalayas have been formed. If anybody asks how Himalayas have been formed, so once <coughs> once upon a time, there is a sea called Titi Sea. There is a sea called Titi Sea. To the north of Titi Sea, there is a landmass called Langara Land. And to the south of Titi Sea, the landmass is called the Gondwana land. These two landmasses moved apart and sometimes come closer. Due to this compressional force, 
one day the sea has been bulged up the sea has been up bulged up and it become the angus forehead mountains they are known as himalayas they are known as the himalayas so now we have discussed now we have discussed how himalayas have been formed the next step is <coughs> okay You know this. This is Arunachal Pradesh. Okay, this is India. So it has been folded and it formed the present Himalayas. So nearly the Himalayas cover an area. Cover an area. This is what we call. This is all cover. They cover an area of important points. Eh? Cover an area of five lakh square kilometers. <coughs> How much area they cover? Five lakh square kilometers. Okay. The Himalayas cover nearly. It is a. Uh, it has a lot of five lakh square kilometer means so many countries uh, are less than Himalayas. That much area Himalayas have been covered. Five lakh square kilometers and the length of, from uh, this is west. This is a uh, east. The cover distance of two thousand four hundred two thousand five hundred kilometers. Distance of two thousand <coughs> five hundred kilometers. From east to, from west to east, and they have a width. Width under the sky is long. Width. They have a width of 500 kilometers to nearly 50 kilometers in east. Okay. Here the width, width under long, long 500 kilometers. An example from Vishakhapatnam to Vijayawada, 390 kilometers. From Vishakhapatnam to Hyderabad, 690 kilometers. So 500 kilometers width. Width. Just imagine. That means Vishakhapatnam to near to Surya Peta. Near Surya Peta. That much width it is there. Okay. So nearly 500 kilometers width in the center part and the west, as more like this, like this, like this towards east, if it has been reduced to 50 kilometers. 150 to 50 kilometers, it will be there. Okay, in the east. Clear? So, they cover an area of 5 lakh square kilometers and they have a distance of 2400 kilometers or 2500 no problem. And they have a width of 500 kilometers to 50 kilometers in the east. Okay? This is about the Himalayas. Now, Himalayas have been divided. <coughs> Just a minute, no problem. Right. So I think your video video has stuck in the chip. Stuck in the divided into three parallel ranges. Have been divided into three parallel ranges. Very important. One more question. First question, right about Himalayas. Okay, right about Himalayas. Second question. What are the parallel ranges of Himalayas? Okay, what are the parallel ranges of Himalayas? These are the two questions you will come across this. And one more important question. Let me complete this. Then we will come across the third important question. Right. So, Indian relief features, we are discussing first part, Himalayas. Himalayas, how they form? Once upon a time, there is a sea called Titi Sea. To the north of Titi Sea, Angara land. To the south of Titi Sea, Gondwana land. These two land masses, what happen? They move somewhat closer and they move apart from each other. Okay. Due to this compression force, one day the sea has been bulged up and they form the present form of her Himalayas and they are called as Angus folded mountains in the world. Then what about the oldest folded mountains in the world? Oldest folded in the mountains in the world are Aravadis. Okay. So the Himalayas formation we have completed. The next one is how much area? They cover an area of 5 lakh square kilometers and they cover a distance of from west to east of 2400 kilometers and they have a width of 500 kilometers at central part and as go on to east, they have a width of 50 kilometers. Okay, right? Now, the next topic is what are the parallel ranges of Himalayas? What are the parallel ranges of Himalayas? Okay? Very important. Okay? 
direct question. What are the parallel ranges of Himalayas? Directly, the question may ask. Okay? The Himalayas have been classified into, classified into three parallel ranges. One is Himadri, in bracket, we call it as Greater Himalayas. Second one is Himachal, they are called it as Lesser Himalayas. And third one is Sivalix, they are called it as Outer Himalayas. Okay? Now, the Himalayan ranges. Three. They are Himadri, Himachal, Sivalix. Himadri are called as Greater Himalayas. Himachal called as Lesser Himalayas. Sivalix called as Outer Himalayas. Okay? Right. So, See children, see children, there are three parallel ranges, okay? How they have been? They are mountains, okay? Mountain ranges always, we will draw in the map like this. Okay? This range is called Sivalix, Outer Himalayas, okay? If anybody has been read that, Outer Himalayas means, from India, like this, you look after that. Outer means by 20 hour water. No, anything will discuss from north to south. North to south, this is the direction. Okay, north to south. So these are outer Himalayas. But for India, first we touch Sivalix. So these are called as Sivalix. Okay, after Sivalix, you have another parallel range. Himachal. That is Himachal. Okay, this is Himachal. And the last one is Himadri. Himadri. <coughs> so, is there any proper division? Why they have been classified like this? You might have a question. Okay, there is nothing proper division. Only according to the height of the mountains, they have been classified like this. Okay, only according to the height of the mountains. Okay. Right, now we will discuss about Himadri. Why they are called as Greater Himalayas? Why they are called as Greater Himalayas? Just a minute, half One is Himadri, Himachal, Sivalis. Himadri is called as Greater Himalayas. Why it is called as Greater Himalayas? Okay, simple answer. The average height of the mountain in this range is Simple, you can write like this. The average height of the mountain in this range is 6,100 meters. So, general average height of the mountain is 6,100 meters. Okay? That's why average height. I said average height. Average means? Average means you have calculated all heights and divided. That means 6,100 average means highest might be Somewhere 8000 or somewhere. Okay. So the average height of the mountain is 6100 meters. That's why this range is called as Himadri, Greater Himalayas. And this range is snow fed throughout the year. This range is snow fed throughout the year. Snow fed means you know, much more And here the vegetation, vegetation means plants growth is very less is a very less in this range and almost all the rivers have took birth in this uh, himadri in this uh, himadri so himadri is called as greater himalayas very important simply when you are writing when your question will be asked what are the parallel ranges of himalayas that is a question answer the parallel ranges of himalayas are one himadri bracket greater himalayas Two, Himachal, bracket Lesser Himalayas. Three, Sivalik, bracket Outer Himalayas. Side heading, Himadri, Greater Himalayas. Point number one, why they are called, no need to question, okay, just time question, answer. The average height of the mountains, simple answer, result. the average height of the mountains in this uh, range are 6,100, that 100 meters. That's why they are called as greater Himalayas. Point number two. 
they are snow fed throughout the year yeah. point number 3 there will be very less vegetation point number 4 all the rivers took birth from the himachari great himalayas okay right children so himachari great himalayas the max height of the mountain is 6100 meters so in himachari we can have the highest peak in the world you know all all you know that highest peak in the world what is that mount everest 8848 meters how much 8848 meters mount everest okay here in this zone only himachari okay himachari but you know india india is peak what is the india is peak in this uh, lower standard you read about this what is the india is peak Mount Everest. Mm-hmm. Eh? Uh, generally, you read like that, but Mount Everest is not in India. It is in Nepal. It is in eh? mm-hmm. Nepal. So, children, if anybody asks, India is big. Don't answer. In good old days, when you are in childhood, okay, you read like that. Leave it off all that. Okay. Now, India is big. Is K2. Here it is K2 near Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. And like that, we can see all these things are missing. But here, India alone is found. This is the highest plateau in Malaya. It is found. K2, Mount Edwin. Okay, Austin and Edwin are there. K2 is the highest peak in India. So, uh, correction. Okay, in your minds, highest peak in India. K2, K2 not Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is in Nepal. Nepal. Okay, so keep it in mind. So, generally, one more question, two more question. Right. Eight important, right? Any eight peaks in Himalayas? Any eight peaks in Himalayas? Himalayas, so okay, we will play the right one. How can we will write? What you know? Okay, listen. The highest peaks in Himalayas are Mount Everest. I said eight thousand eight hundred forty-eight meters. Children, eight thousand eight hundred forty-eight meters means generally one floor we are having, building one floor. Okay, from ground to upper. Okay, it is nearly nine meters to ten meters. One floor, eh? Nine meters to ten meters. Three floors. Let me jump ten. Four floors, forty meters. Four floors building how much? Forty meters. Now let me jump eight thousand eight hundred forty-eight meters. How much height it is? Okay, right, right, right. Here. <coughs> What is the question we get? Name any eight important peaks in Himalaya. Himalaya, Himachari. Okay, one Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Two K two. Three Kanchanjunga. Kanchanjunga. Who is that? Kanchanjunga. Four Manasalu. Five. Annapurna, six, Nanda Devi, seven, Nanda Parvat, eight, oh, Manasu, Makalu, okay. So these are the eight important peaks in Himalaya. If you want the heights, also if you want to write. In workbook, uh, last page you will have the workbook heights. Okay, I have not uh, remembered. This is eight thousand eight hundred forty-eight, and uh, it is nearly eight thousand six hundred K two. Okay, so remaining all you can get that. Okay, right. So one more question I can ask here. Name any eight important peaks of Himalayas. Okay, the main eight important peaks of Himalayas are Mount Everest. Kato, Kanchenjunga, Manasulu, Makalu, Chovayo, Raile ne no Chovayo, Nanda Devi, Nanda Parvat, Annapurna, like this. Okay, so these are all will be located here in Nepal. This is Mount Everest, the Shijo. This is Kanchenjunga. This is Annapurna. Okay, like that. We have eight important peaks. Okay, so this is about Himachari. This is about Himachari. If you are clear, again I am telling you why the Himal, why they are called as Greater Himalayas. There is nothing clarification. 
only according to their height. The average height of the mountain in this range is above 6,100 meters. That's why they are called as Greater Himalayas. And they have snow fed throughout the year. They have snow fed uh, throughout the year. Snow fed means much more to the Right. Now next one is, I am rubbing this. Okay. Important peaks in Himalayas are already discussed. The next one is Himachal. Here, the average height of the mountains is 4,500 meters. That's why they are called as lesser Himalayas. That's all. I said only according to the altitude. Altitude means height. height. Okay? Nothing else. Altitude is the base for the division of parallel ranges of Himalayas. Himachal, lesser Himalayas. Okay? The average height is 4,500 meters. Here you can see a little bit of vegetation. Vegetation means plants growing. And the vegetation which was held here is known as alpha vegetation. Keep it in word. What is that? Alpha vegetation. V E G A T A T A O N. Alpha vegetation. What we call as alpha vegetation? If the vegetation has come at higher altitudes, and higher altitudes, that vegetation is called as Alpha vegetation and this vegetation, alpha vegetation, okay, give a lot of revenue to all India, my dear. Okay, why? Because main important uh, uh, plants like uh, um, uh, Shashanga, okay, just, 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 okay, here important plants, why? Because very costly plants that can be grown here, okay, um, why? Because this is higher altitude now. Nobody can go in there, have the harvest or cutting of the trees. Okay. Let's say you may see, let's say rosewood or something. If you grow in our uh, um, opposite uh, hill, is it will be available up to the ground? People will live there. Rosewood, take wood. What will happen? They will be smuggled. But here, it is altitude of 4,500 meters high. Nobody can able to smuggle that. So here, we have a strong uh, trees which are used for uh, uh, um, manufacturing of a uh, train, um, what do you call a uh, train? Um, boat tracks. No, no, not train tracks. Train bogey load check counters that will come from our administration. Okay, and also for firewood, also for uh, firewood. Okay, they got a greater revenue to Indian government. Okay, and this is called Himachal. The average height of the mountains is 4,500 meters, almost all the rivers cut through this lesser Himalayas, cut through this lesser Himalayas and enter into Sivaliks. Okay, the next one is Sivaliks. The average height of the Sivaliks mountain is 1,500 meters, 900 to 1,500 meters. Okay, it may be, if you go to east, it's almost, it has been reduced to 900 to 800 height. Okay, general opposite we are having a hill now. It is opposite nearly 800 meters, for 600 to 800 opposite. Like that. Okay, so that much height we will have in a Sivaris. Okay, all the rivers which have been taken birth have cut through the Sivaris, cut through this Sivaris and enter into Indian subcontinent. Into Indian subcontinent. Okay, so. And while, by, while coming, they brought a lot of uh, waste material, sand, sand and rocks and deposit all along the foot of the Sivalis, all along the foot of the Sivalis. Okay, waste well, brought by the rivers, that, okay, will be foot of the Sivalis. Here, we have, in the lesser Himalayas, we have some, lesser in the outer Himalayas, we have some, Ranges, okay. Ranges, ranges means some mountains, some of, uh, some mountains, okay. That what we call it a range, okay. Here we will have the old range, the old range, okay. Kalkaram range, Kalkaram, okay. Where Kato mountain is there, Kalkaram range, the old range, okay, and. Uh, Uh, okay, those are range. In the range means high mountains uh, group. Mountains group we call as a range. Okay, in this uh, lesser Himalayas, lesser Himalayas. 
we have famous illustrations famous illustrations why we call it famous illustration illustration means what is illustration it is on the oh, height let's say Ar aruku is a illustration it is almost nearly 3200 feet high feet from the sea level okay so the famous illustrations like simla simla okay masuri masuri nainital nainital jaka nainital these are the famous illustrations are located in this lesser himalaya range yes sir himalayan range near daudar range okay the famous illustrations what is called simla masuri nainital okay like that we can see illustration you know how much cool it is okay let's say we have go to arku why uti in south india is a famous illustration Uti is also called as Udhagamandalam. It is also called as Udhagamandalam. Uti is also called as Udhagamandalam. Okay, it is also a famous illustration. Okay, like that, we have famous illustration. Simla, Basuri. So, this is about Sivalik and Himachal. And similarly here, we will come across two words. One is Dune. D-U-N-E. And another one is Passes. Listen. Dunes. Generally, you have a mountain range. You have a mountain range. Quandal. Quandal one again. And they won't be regular. This is one like this. Yes or no? So in, in between these mountains, we have a gaps. Okay. So that are called as dunes. That are called as dunes. So dune deflation. A narrow, narrow means okay. broad means broad, whether narrow, okay. A narrow, flat, what one? Narrow, flat, bottomed, bottomed, strike valley, strike valley are called as dunes. Valley, you know, valley, valley means if a land, piece of land between two mountains is called a valley. Ours is the valley. Why ours is the valley? We are in between the mountains. Other way, we have Vishaka Valley School. Why they kept as the valley? They are between the mountain. Yes or no? So that is called as valley. That means the landmass between the two mountains. That is called a dune. Dune is nothing but a narrow. A narrow. Mm -hmm. Not a broad. Broad means you don't have two mountains, na? So in between two mountains, that's why I said in between two mountains, they are called as dune. They are called as dune. dune. So dune definition very important. In a narrow. narrow. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, don't uh, uh, unmute. Just uh, follow my words. A narrow. Flat. A narrow. Tell me. A narrow. Flat. Bottom. Bottom means movement. A narrow. Flat. Flat means plain. Okay. Like our, we are constructed houses, where flat surface. If the, if the, in between the mountains, if the surface is like this, like this, we can able to construct the house. No, no. So that's why we have to zoom means a narrow, what do you call as? A, a narrow, narrow, flat, bottom, strike valley. It will be like a valley. Then you are called as dunes. Okay. Example important dunes are partly dune. Partly dune, partly. very important. Name some examples of dunes. Partly, partly dune, courtly dune, courtly. courtly. Okay, partly dune, courtly dune. dune. Okay, very important. Root two examples. So, you understood dune? A narrow, mm -hmm. again, I'm coming back. A narrow, flat, bottomed, strike, mm -hmm. valley are called as dunes. Dunes, dunes will appear between the mountains. mountains. That are called as dunes. Okay, children. The next one is pass. pass. You know, if you have been see, if you have been gone to Arku, if you have been gone to Arku, we are going on a vehicle. But the tribals will move on shortcuts. Yes or no? Between the mountains they will walk and they'll go. They want to go on vehicles. Okay. So the shortcut routes, the shortcut uh, routes. routes are called as Pass. passes. Okay, the shortcut. 
Okay, the shortcut routes between the mountains is called as passes. passes. Very important. Understood what are passes? The shortcut routes between the mountains is called as passes. passes. What are the important passes? Khyber Pass. Khyber. Khyber Pass. Okay. Uh, Bomidila Nautula Pass. Bomidila. Bomidila Nautula. Bomidila Nautula Pass. Once upon a time, with this Bombadil and Arthur Pass, near we have this Sikkim. Okay, with this only, the British have made a trade route with China. Okay, Bo trade, trade, Bombadil and Arthur Pass. Okay, Khyber Pass. Okay, these are the important passes, important uh, passes which are used for international trade, for the uh, international state. Okay. okay, with uh, other countries. Good order this. Okay, right now also we are having Bombadil and Arthur Pass. Okay, right, they are the borders. They are the borders. Yes. Okay, so these are the routes and passes. Yes. By this, we have completed Himalayas. We have completed Himalayas. Yes. But we have to discuss one more important question. Okay, but today I won't discuss. If possible, after again revision, I'll, there is a chance. If your patience is good, I'll start on with that question. Again back, I am coming back children. What time? Again back, I am doing a revision or take a breath once. Again take a breath once. Okay. One stand all. Where are you sitting? Stand. Features. Right children? One Himalayas. Okay. Now you have to come up with this. When I have been telling, your uh, lips to be moved off. Okay? Start on with moving with my words. India major relief features. Geographically, India was divided into six major relief features. They are Himalayas 1, Indo Gantic Plains, Peninsula Plateau, Coastal Plains, Deserts, Islands. Six completed. Then we are coming with Himalayas. First one Himalayas. How the Himalayas have been formed? Once upon a time, there is a sea called Titi Sea. Titi Sea. To the north of Titi Sea, there is a landmass called Angala Land. To the south of Titi Sea, the landmass is called Wadala Land. These two landmasses moved apart and sometimes come closer. Due to this compressional forces, the sea has been bulged up and it became the youngest folded mountains in the world. They are Himalayas. So we already discussed folded folded mountains. Oldest folded mountains are Aravalis. Okay? So Himalayas cover an area of 5 lakh square kilometers and a distance of 2400 kilometers. And they have a width of 500 kilometers to 50 kilometers in each. So that is the view. Now the Himalayas have been divided into three parallel ranges. The three parallel ranges are Himadri, Himachal, Sivas. Himadri is nothing but Greater Himalayas. Himachal, Lesser Himalayas. Sivalik, Outer Himalayas. Himadri, Greater Why this division? There is nothing specification. Only the division has been done according to their altitude. Altitude means height. According to their height, the division has been given. Himadri, Greater Himalaya. Here, the average height of the mountains is 6,100 meters. Yes. That's why they are called as Himadri. And the mountains in this range are snow fed. Are snow fed throughout the year. And we can see a very less vegetation in this range. Okay? Almost all the important peaks, highest world, highest peaks, are there in the Himadri, Greater Himalayas. The world highest peak, what is that? Mount Everest is located in this world, not India. It is the world highest peak, has been located in this Himadri. So, in this Himadri, the question might be asked, what name some eight important highest peaks? Okay, so we will come across Mount Everest, K2, Kanchanganga, Makalu, Manasulu, Annapurna, Nanda Devi, 
Nanda Parvat, Chavayo, okay, like that. Okay, so these are the eight important peaks in Himalayas. Now coming across Himachal. Himachal is called as Lesser Himalayas. Why they are called as Lesser Himalayas? They are I average it is 4,500 meters. Okay, 4,500. You will have some more ranges. Ranges means, ranges I said, what is the range? Yeah. Ah, what is the range? Group of mountains. Group of mountains. Group of mountains. mountains. So, in this Himachal, we will have uh, Dhaudar range. What do you call? Dhaudar range. Karkorov range. What do you call? Karkorov. Okay, Karkorov range, the Uldar range, where in this only you can see the important hill stations. Okay, what do we call important hill stations? Simla, okay, Nainital, okay, okay, Nainital, Masuri are the important hill stations. And here only in this Himachal, we will have important uh, valleys too. Okay, Kulu Kangara valleys, Kulu, K U L U, and Kangara, K N G R A. They are famous for fruit cultivation. They are famous for fruit, fruit cultivation, important apple. Okay? In this uh, Shimla, only you can see that. Okay, Kulu Kangara range. Okay, valley. Okay? The next one is Sivalis. Why they are called as outer Himalayas? Okay? They have an average height of 900 to 1500 meters. Almost all the rivers which have took birth in Himachal and Himachal cut through the Sivalis and enter into Indian subcontinent. Indian subcontinent. While they have been flowing, they brought a slit and accommodated all along the foots of the Sivalis. All along the foots of the Sivalis. Okay, so that we have discussed. Okay, right? <coughs> right, the next one is, we have discussed about two, Dune and Passes. Dune, Dune means a narrow, a narrow, okay, narrow, flatter, uh, narrow, flat, longitudinal strike valley, are called as bottom strike valley, are called as dunes. Example are partly dune, partly dune. Passes, okay, the natural route across, what you call as? The natural route across between the mountains are called as passes. There are Khyber Pass, Moran Pass, it is Moran Pass, Khyber Pass, Momudila, Nautula Pass. Okay, these are the passes. And the Sivaliks, we have different names. We have different names in different area. In Nandakya Pradesh, they are called as Mishmi Hills. What do you call as? Mishmi. Mishmi. M I S H M A. Mishmi Hills. Or in this is all what you call as Eastern India. Here we have seven sisters. India map of Sitil Sari. Here is Rakha Chalunta, Babutun Shwand. When a privilege is put in Matka, here is Rakha Chalun, but she is a better. We don't know Jatu in a number. Okay, here is Rakha Chalunta Nagra. Agra, Eastern India. Anachal Pradesh, Itanagar. Nagaland, Kohima. Manipur, Impal. Mijoram, Aizwal. Tupura, Agartara. Mangalaya, Shilam. Assam, Dispur. Here is Rakha Chalun, much more. Okay? Right? Here I am telling you, Anachal Pradesh, Itanagar, Nagaland, Kohima, Manipur, Impal, Mijoram, Aizwa, Tripura, Agartala, Meghalaya, Shilam, Assam, Ispur. Okay, in this, these are the Eastern India. Okay, so that mountains, the mountains will have, all the mountains in this area will have different names and they are all called as Purvanchal Hills. What is their one as? Purvanchal. Keep the word Purvanchal. Okay. So, in Andhachal Pradesh, they are called as Vishmi Hills. In Nagaland, Naga Hills, Mijora, Mijo Hills. But all these are, hills are called as Purvanchal Hills. What do you call as? Purvanchal Hills. Okay. So, you will know what is Eastern India. This is the Eastern India. Okay. Here the mountain ranges are called as Orwanchal Hills. And the Sivaliks will have different names according to the region. In Jammu, they are called as Jammu Hills. In Jammu, they are called as Jammu Hills. 